Yeah, give uh, give Purdue credit. I think Matt's got an outstanding team. Um, they're physical. Obviously, they were coming off two losses, which is which happens in league play. But uh, he's got an outstanding group, another outstanding team. Everything's built around Edie, but they got a lot of really good players. So uh, they got a lot of really good players, and I thought uh, their ability to get the stops in the second half and kind of take it from a nine to a 15-point game and build from there was just too much for us to overcome. But to give them credit, I thought our guys battled uh, well, really well in spots. And uh, but we, we're, Purdue's got a Purdue's got an excellent team. So, congrats to them on the win. Questions? Chris, when we, when we talked to uh, Gene and Ice, they both said that there were things that you guys focus on that you did better today. And that was something they were taking out of this, even though it was the most decisive loss of the year. What, what, where did you feel you were better, and why did it not result in more points or, or a better we, outcome? Yeah, I thought we played really hard at them. I thought we competed, uh, followed the game plan really well. Uh, I think the, the foul trouble hurt us a little bit. But uh, I thought when we were good offensively, the ball moved better than what it had. I thought defensively we competed uh, and competed on the glass. There were some really good moments, some, some really good moments. But uh, uh, obviously uh, not the uh, – not the outcome we wanted. Having to, to play without Zed, and I, I'm not sure what that means for him maybe going forward, but how did that impact this game and, and you know having to play Owen Spencer for significant minutes? Yeah, I thought Owen did a great job. I thought Owen did a great job. Obviously got in foul trouble, but he battled. Um, and uh, I thought he did a great job. I thought Felix did a good job. Gene did a good job. You know, uh, those guys, uh, uh, he's a load in there. And it's not just him. They rebound the ball really well, but obviously he's – Largest player that uh, those guys have ever played against. Chris, you guys came out with the press. Uh, you got off to an 8-2 lead. Was that kind of the strategy to build a lead early and play with that in the first half? Oh, that was just, uh, you know, I think you realize it's, it's hard to keep a lead, you know, in that situation. 8-2, to two is, you got a world of the game left. So I don't think any of us were. Oh, I loved our start. I loved our start. I thought our start was excellent. Um, and uh, I thought uh, our press was good. It was effective for really the whole game. Um, again, we just struggle. We had too many scoring droughts. And then first time this season with four freshmen starting. You've had three start before, but first yeah. time at four. Yep. What did you think of that rotation? I got a lot of thoughts on that. Um, but, um, you know, listen, that's th those guys have competed all year and uh, played a lot of minutes at this point. Um, that's a tough thing for those guys to do on the road um, with the top two or three team in the country. Um, uh, I think that's a tough thing for those guys. But again, they helped our start be really good. And uh, minus you know some of some foul trouble, I thought those guys did uh, did some really good things. There, there was a uh, timeout in the second half. Um, I think Justice had just turned it over, and you guys had a pretty significant conversation. It looked like. What are you still trying to maybe get through to him, and what did you see from him today? No, it's just coaching. Yeah, it wasn't a conversation. It was just coaching. And, he uh, was he handled fine. It was just coaching. Yeah, you. I think you mentioned rebounding, and that seemed to be an area where they really hurt you. Um, what, what was the key to trying to figure something out there, and how t how difficult was it? Yeah, I have to look at it, Adam. I don't know how many Edie got. I think Edie got a couple putbacks. Their four men really go to the glass, uh, you know, really go to the glass. I just think we got shoved underneath too many times. And a couple missed block outs, but I think more than anything, we got shoved underneath a lot. Chris, uh, Purdue got out-rebounded by Maryland the other day, which, you know, was just kind of a, an anomaly, I guess. Today, uh, Zach got his rebounds, but it was Mason Gillis, Caleb first. Um, how active were they on the glass, and how hard was it with, with your size to keep those fours off the glass? Oh, I think they're always – Active. They're a very, I mean, they're the third ranked best or the third best offensive rebounding team in the country. So, you know, they're an elite offensive rebounding team, elite. And it's not just Edie, as you mentioned, it's First and Gillis um, who get a lot of them. And their point guard comes in and in and, and their jammer spot hits the nail and he gets some as well, uh, Smith. So they're an elite offensive rebounding team. We knew they would come after getting out rebounding and losing two in a row. We knew they would rebound the ball well and play well today, and they did. Uh, 
what can you say about Zed's status going forward? Is it could he return this season, or is this a point where maybe you'd say it's time to shut it down? We don't know anything right now, definitively, Adam. Um, obviously, we're hopeful, but uh, we don't know anything right now, definitively, on on Zed. We should know more here probably in a couple of days. And if he were to not be able to go, is Owen a guy that could realistically play on a game by game basis? Um, sure, I think in some games. Yeah, I mean, I think I think in certain games, certain matchups. You know, Adam, as you saw the other day, we, what. We didn't struggle. We struggled when they went small, when Iowa went small. You know, we had no real matchups for when they went. So many people in our league play small. Um, so um, I think that's more of my concern right now. Certainly when you pl Purdue doesn't play small, okay, but a lot of teams in the league do. So that's probably as much of my concern as anything.